What's up guys and yes we have yet another Samsung Galaxy S21 leak. For some reason we're getting more S21 scoops compared to the Galaxy Note 20 which is going to be the flagship that's gonna come before the S21 as always. But the leaks are currently focused on the S21. That just shows how big of a deal the Galaxy S21 will be. The current sales of Galaxy S20 family has been all time low. It's not because the phones are bad. I mean Samsung has a lot of software issues going on that they are currently fixing with the updates but it's more about what's currently going on in the world because of all of that samsung has to bounce back and they are going all in with the s21 according to a new rumor coming from south korea samsung is designing a world record setting sensor size for its front camera of the galaxy s21 and future flagship samsung phones this sensor is as big as the main camera of the galaxy note 10 plus which is absolutely crazy and that too with optical image stabilization. They're currently testing a 1 by 2.55 inch sensor uh, with a 12 megapixel resolution and optical image stabilization. In addition to that there's another module which is coming at 1 by 2 inch a little bit smaller but with more megapixels coming at 48 megapixel. Again all of this with optical image stabilization on the front of the phone. If this actually turns out to be true, Samsung is definitely setting a new bar, a new world record sensor size for a smartphone selfie camera. Now, interestingly, this is all happening right around the rumor of us getting an in-display camera setup. Yes, we just talked about in the previous video that with the Galaxy S21, Samsung is currently testing its underscreen camera setup. They're checking out its reliability if it can be used on a global worldwide flagship. With the underscreen camera, we'll finally see the new infinity display on the S21. I really hope this happens because currently S20 sales has been down. The phone itself is great, but because of software not being at the level of the hardware has caused a lot of issues. Samsung is the undisputed king of the OLED screen. Currently, they hold 90% of the entire market. They were the first to introduce a punch hole on an OLED panel and also a flexible OLED screen. So if anyone that can pull this off is Samsung. Along with that, we also have companies like Oppo and Vivo. They show showed off their prototype, we discussed that earlier, so we could actually see a phone from them later down the year or maybe next year, but the race is on and it's gonna be really exciting. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think about this news? Does this big sensor have something to do with the underscreen setup that they're going for? Drop your comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.